Hey, what up everyone? The Gray Man here. I decided I've been dormant on YouTube long enough. I gotta get back in the groove yet again. I always just fall out of the groove and I gotta get back in it, so I decided... Time to play a quick little something, and since it's Christmas and like angels and shit, we're gonna play us some Kid Icarus of Myths and Monsters. And let's not waste time. Let's get on with it. Uh, I forget what's in that first door. Come on. Where's some sh- Alright, here we go. It's not really Kid Icarus until you start shooting these snake things. At least that's how I remember it. Now- no, I never have owned a 3DS. I don't even have Uprising. Like I said, I gotta get back in the damn groove. Anyway, why did I pick Kid Icarus? I know it's an odd choice. I've done the original Kid Icarus, but I've also done... the original Metroid. The NES Zelda games and A Link to the Past, Super Mario Bros. 2 and 3, but again, it's Christmas time, so this game about angels and stuff, and fighting demons and warding off evil, and I don't know. No, that's it. I thought this was. They gave you one of those doors that. where you gotta have a certain amount of points or shit right out of the gate. Oh well. Oh yeah, I just forgot to mention, one of the things that's great about this game, watch this. I'm not dead. The screen fucking scrolls down now. That alone makes this better than the original. Yeah, I do prefer this one. Like, it's kind of like Kingdom Hearts. I wasn't all that impressed with the original Kingdom Hearts. It felt like a Zelda knockoff and just put in Disney characters and stuff, and weird allegation of other stuff from Square, but when I played the PS2 version of Chain of Memories, I, I enjoyed that a whole lot more. And it, it made me a believer. I haven't played any of the others yet, but I'm anxious to. Maybe after this I hook up my PSP and play freaking... Uh, what was it? Oh yeah, Birth by Sleep, that's the one. Especially since someone told me that Leonard Nimoy's a voice in there. It's like, okay, okay, some more Kingdom Hearts and Leonard Nimoy. <laughs> you need not say any more. <sighs> yeah. I thought no celebrity death could affect me as much as Leonard Nimoy's, but then in recent month. Ah, uh, Stan Lee. Oh, that. I teared up. I, I fucking teared up. Never got to meet the man in person. In fact, I don't really go to cons or anything. I've never really met any of these people in person. I gotta get on that. I mean, I got this one copy of Uncanny X-Men 129. I need to get Chris Claremont to sign that shit before he, he dies, too. And I don't know, I just kind of recently got back into comics. It was Domino's Monthly Series done by this chick Gail Simone. Of course, people tar and feathers and uh, SDW, whatever, so uh, fuck it. It's like trying to... Pfft, yeah. My brother's one of those red-pilling fuck muppets saying, like, uh, SCW's ruining everything. It's like they're making women cover up and we had to see Batman's dong. Uh... Dr. Manhattan. That is all. And then that first issue of Domino I mentioned, we see her in her bra and panties getting thrown out a window, so... Oh, Cyclops skulls. Oh, that's what... That's... I'm not making that up. That's what they're called in the instruction booklet. I actually have the instruction booklet for this. Not the box, but... I don't really need that. I want to kill these guys, because just like in the original, you want to just... Oh, shit! I did not mean to do that. You want to grab as much points as you can, and as much hearts as you can early on. And just like in the original, those will give you, like, the harps will turn enemies into... into hammer... Oh, shit balls! Doo -doo -doo. Perfect. Alright, like I was saying, I have the instruction booklet for this, but I don't have the box. I'd really like the box, too, because... The mall that's closest to me 
It's really swirling the toilet these days. I just remember going there as a kid and just seeing, like, Babbage's Electronics Boutique. And just seeing all these games I'd love to try out. And I remember seeing this one day, it's like, oh, there was another Kid Icarus game? Awesome! Alright. Holy shit! The credit card on the first try, no God of Poverty. Sweet. How many hammers? Fuck it. They usually have like a little thing of wine. <laughs> so like I was saying, like, so I remember first seeing the box for this when I was a little kid and I really didn't actually get the game to try it until years later, but when I did, as an adult, it was still a load of fun. I remember, I think it was 2007, had a Game Boy Advance SP and I was running around, driving Ryan around because he got in trouble, needed something about a ticket, and while he was taking care of shit, I was just playing this game. In 2007, when... And I was having a rocking good and I'm having fun now, over a decade later. It's great that you don't have to be nervous about accidentally hitting down and... Oh, shit! And dying because of that. I did get hit, though, by the fucking... Oh, it's not gonna show points. Yeah! You see that shit? Duck in here, see what we got. Take another one of those for when I find another statue and. I've got to save up the money for it. I'm pretty sure you can only get the barrel with the. Oh, but wait, that's right, I have the credit card now. That, that'll help. The damn credit card right out of the gate. Oh, shit! Still better than just outright dying. It's not as ball-bustingly hard as the original, but still, you gotta be careful. Yeah. Yeah, see that shit? I am god of this game. Cyclops skulls fear my wrath! Alright, enough fucking around. Let's get this level done and over with. Ugh. Oh, I think I'm about to be under attack by this. Oh, Palutina's key! That, that reopens some stuff. That, this can't be the end, can it? No, I think... Now let's find out. Oh, it is the end. There was really nothing worth going back for anyway. But I didn't get my life up. Um, oh, well, I'll just save. Palutina's key, that lets you reopen stuff, but... I wasn't... Okay, a door. Okay, this shit again. Maybe one of these will drop a little cup of wine. Whoa! Come on, goddamn bats! And for all the bravado I was giving you, yes, yes, and I immediately get hit again. 
Yeah, for all the bravado I had, this... I really like to play it safe and just hang in one spot and exploit patterns for this game. My heart count is a quarter full. Good, and fucking cobbles or snakes, whatever the fuck they call them. Oh, that was that was stupid. Oh, slippy slidey ice. Lovely. And the Cyclops goat thing, because that's not demonic looking at all. Alright, where are you fuckers? Come on, come on, I saw you coming. Ugh. Oh, hot spring, yes! Excellent, I needed that. Get up there. And there's wine, if I need it. Oh boy, is this the training thing? No. Come on, when do I get to the guy that gives me the training and, sh and shit? Take another hammer. It's not like on uh, game FAQs and shit. They give you maps for the... the fortress parts, but not the regular levels. It sucks is... There do exist maps for the regular levels in the original Kid Icarus. I would know, because that Ultimate Nintendo Power Player's Guide when I was a kid... Well, it had it just for the underworld and the overworld. The sky world, they left you on your own. But they said, if you got this amount of points by the time you reach sky world, you'll be fine. Go get them! Yeah, fuck you. Alright, what do we got here? Oh, this again. Okay. And right off... <laughs> I got the credit card right away, but right off the gate, he's just... Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Uh, 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 Steve, your ass, fuck you, fuck you. You know, when there's no music and you shoot, you realize... I think that's pretty much the same sound effect as in Metroid 2 for shooting. Which really shouldn't come as a surprise. I mean, the original Metroid and Kid Icarus were kind of like brother and sister in a way. Alright, come on down. Put the hammer down! Drop the hammer! And how many does that give me now? Eleven. Nice. Nice. I feel like I'm missing so much shit already. I wanna fall in the oil. Whoa! Fuckers again. All right, come on. Okay. everywhere for these damn doors. Shit. It's better than just die because you made a slip up. Just keep telling myself that. Gotta look, cause as you saw with Palutina's key, there's there's shit hidden everywhere. 
Nope. <sighs> now how do I get out without hurting myself on the brambles? Okay, that's how. Is this the end of the level already? No, it can't be. Oh boy, is this the training? Alright, I'd definitely like to have another bar of life before I take on one of the training rooms to get one of the special weapons. Cause goddamn! Oh, the Magoo things! Oh shit, get me out of here! Yes! Extra bar of life, but it doesn't fill it up for me, asshole.